Hey guys, it's Brandon here. The new 4.2.1 jailbreak is out now and it works for all the devices. There is a little catch, but it's still nonetheless a jailbreak for all the devices. So let's get to it. Now, the jailbreak, there's two different types of jailbreaks. There's the untethered and tethered jailbreaks. Now, the first one, untethered jailbreaks, is when you can shut off your device and you can turn it back on whenever you want. So I can just shut it off and turn it back on. Now, the tethered jailbreak is when you actually like turn it off completely and then when you try to turn it back on, it won't turn back on unless you plug it into a computer. So make sure that you uh, know which one you're going to be getting, whether you're going to be untethered or tethered. So uh, untethered jailbreaks are for the iPhone 3GS, the old boot ROM, the iPhone 3G, and the iPod Touch second generation non-MC model. So that's the untethered. Now tethered jailbreak is for the iPhone 4, uh, iPhone 3GS, the new boot ROM, the iPad, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPod Touch 3G, and the iPod Touch second generation MC model. Um, still nonetheless, it's still a jailbreak and it still works and it's fantastic. So what we're going to use is we're going to use Red Snell to jailbreak this and it's very easy. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and go to this iPhone Heat website and you can go ahead and go to the step one right here. I'll have it in the description below. And you can download the iOS 4.2.1 right here, or you can go ahead and go to this Felix Burns website. I'll have this also in the description. And you can download any firmware for any device right here for the iPhone, uh, iPod Touch, iPad, and such right there. So you can also do that. I'll have that in the link in the description. Now, after you download the firmware and you update your device to the 4.2 firmware, I'll show you guys I have it on the 4.2.1 right there. This is my second generation non-MC model iPod. Now, uh, make sure you update your device and then you go ahead and download Red Snow. You can download it for Windows or Mac right here, Mirror 1 or Mirror 2. Now, if these links don't work for you, they didn't work for me, so I went ahead and searched for another link to go to. If you go ahead to this website, I'll have it in the description also, blog.iphone-dev.org. You have some mirrors right here, Mac links and Windows links. You're going to go ahead and click on whatever one you're on. I clicked on that first one and it downloaded this uh, Red Snow program right there. As you can see, it is a zip file. So if you're using an older software like Windows XP instead of Windows 7 or Vista, you might have to download a WinRAR program from Google. Just go ahead and type in Google WinRAR program and download a program to export the folder to like your desktop or something so it's easy to find. And that's what I did. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that. So make sure you download Red Snow and the firmware and your device is on the new firmware. Okay, after you have that all set up, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Red Snow by clicking up here and clicking on this Red Snow icon, hit run, and then I'll bring up this little window right here. Now it says, please select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware. So we're going to go ahead and do that by clicking browse. And now basically we're going to just select the firmware that we want. Make sure you select the right one, not the wrong one. So iPod, second generation. Uh, 4.2.1, that's the one we want to use. So we're going to go ahead and select on that. And then it's going to process the firmware just to make sure that it's going to be able to work. Now it's going to say, it's going to bring up this little window and it says, is this an MC model of the iPod Touch 2G? My iPod is not an MC model. If you are not sure, you can find out by going to your settings general and about screen. All right. Caution, if you have an MC model and you don't correctly identify it here, you will likely need to do an official restore to fix the mistake. Okay, so make sure that you answer correctly. Uh, this Is this an MC model? No, it's not an MC model, so we can just hit no. All right, IPSW, IPSW successfully identified. So we can go ahead and click next. Boom. And it's going to just process for a second. All right, now it's going to load up some options for you. Please select your options right here, and uh, you can add custom logos or whatever. So you're going to install Cydia. That's the one thing you really want to do. You can do uh, 
custom bundles. You can do uh, all these boot logo type stuff, custom recovery logo. Enable multitasking. You can enable multitasking for your device if it doesn't already allow it, like the second generation. You can enable home screen wallpaper or you can enable battery percentage. Now, me personally, I use um, a winter board program for that because then I can adjust whether I want it on or off whenever I want instead of using the Red Snow program every time to switch whether I want uh, these things on or off. So it, I can run faster if I really want to. But if you want to know how to do the winter board thing, I'll have a link in the description for lo below for the features like the 4.1 firmware for your iDevice. So you can check that out also in the description. All right, so I'm gonna only use install Cydia, but you can select whatever you want. All right, next. Now it says click next only when your device is both off and plugged in. So the device needs to be plugged in. Let's plug it in. It's gonna probably load up your uh, iTunes, so we're gonna make sure that that gets closed down. Go ahead and uh, shut it off. Just hold the power button and slide to power off. All right, so it's off and plugged in, as you can see. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready. We're gonna probably have to put it in DFU mode right here. So make sure that uh, you're prepared. Just watch this video before you do it uh, so you can know what's gonna go on. You're gonna basically just hold the power and home button at different times and then they'll have the instructions on the screen so you can just follow along with that. It's really easy. And bear with me because I'm only doing this with one hand, so let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and scroll down to next. Ready, go. Hold the power corner button for two, one. Now, without releasing it, hold the home button for seven, six, five, four. And then we can just wait for that. Now, release the sleep button up here and keep holding the home button for 12, 11, 10. All right. Three. Oh, it's going. Okay. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> so it's waiting for the reboot. It's just going to go ahead and jailbreak the device. Performing initial exploit. Uploading second stage. Waiting for reboot. And downloading jailbreak data. And it's just loading up all the RAM disk and everything on the screen. It's rebooting. Now this says it's done and this gonna go ahead and load up some code and everything and it's just jailbreaking the device and it says up here that the rest of the process will be on the device itself so we're just gonna wait for the device to go ahead and do its thing all right uh, it's going to have like a quick pwn type of window come up and it's flashing in a wire. It's just still going through the jailbreaking process. Alright, it's just about done I think. Just loading up the Apple logo and uh, it should be, uh, it should have installed Cydia and everything, just uh, what I selected on the screen for Red Snow. And um, if you, like I said, if you want to have the multitasking, the background wallpaper and the battery percentage on your device, you can go ahead and check out the video in the description below for the features. That's what it's called. It's a little thing in Cydia that you can download and it's free. So it's really nice. All right, and there it is. Let's unlock and see if Cydia is on there. Yep, and indeed it is, right there. Sweet. Go ahead and click on Cydia. Initializing file system, Cydia will exit when complete. It's normal it does this, and you can go back into it after it closes out. All right, you're just gonna unlock it, and go ahead and uh, click on Cydia again, and it should load up just as normal as it usually was. And uh, I'm a user, I'm not a hacker or a developer, so we're just going to click on that and hit done. And there is Cydia for you guys. Awesome possum. And that's how you do it. So it's very simple. Uh, just follow basically the instructions um, on the iPhone Heat channel. You can also follow this video. 
If you have any questions or anything, just post them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. And uh, basically that's how you jailbreak your iDevice. And um, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I will put annotations around my video if there's any updates. Uh, so if you're watching this on a mobile device, make sure to check it out on the computer just to make sure that there's no uh, annotations or anything uh, because there might be a new jailbreak or an update or anything and I'll usually do a video on those updates and everything so make sure to check out and look out for those annotations thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later